Jean Charles Emmanuel Nodier, April 29, 1780, January 27, 1844, was an influential French author and librarian who introduced a younger generation of Romanticists to the Kant fantastique, Gothic literature, and vampire tales. His dream related writings influenced the later works of Gerard de Nerval. Early years, he was born at Besançon in France near the border with Switzerland. His father, on the outbreak of the French Revolution, was appointed mayor of Besançon and consequently chief police magistrate, he seems to have become an instrument of the tyranny of the Jacobins without sharing their principles, but his son was for a time an ardent citizen, and is said to have been a Jacobin club member at the age of twelve. In 1793 Charles saved the life of a lady guilty of sending money to an emigre declaring to his father that if she were condemned he would take his own life. He was sent to Strasbourg, where he lived in the house of Eulogius Schneider, the notorious Jacobin governor of Alsace, but a good Greek scholar. Activism and wanderings, during the reign of terror his father put him under the care of Justin Gerard Chantrens, with whom he studied English and German. His love of books began very early and he combined with it a strong interest in nature, which Gerard Chantrens was able to foster. He became librarian in his native town, but his exertions in the cause of suspected persons brought him under suspicion. An inspection of his papers by the police, however, revealed nothing more dangerous than a dissertation on the antennae of insects. Entomology continued to be a favorite study with him but he varied it with philology and pure literature and even political writing. For a skit on Napoleon, in 1803, he was imprisoned for some months. He then left Paris, where he had gone after losing his position at Besançon, and for some years lived a very unsettled life at Besançon, Dole, and in other places in the Jura. During these wanderings he wrote his novel, Le Painter de Salzburg. Journal des Motions d'un Cursurant, Suivi des Meditations du Cloiter 1803. The hero, Charles, who is a variation of the Werther type, desires the restoration of the monasteries, to afford a refuge from the woes of the world. At Dole in 1808, on August 31st, he married Desiree Charve. Nodier was working as a secretary to the elderly Sir Herbert Croft. 5th Baronet and his platonic friend Lady Mary Hamilton. During this time he translated Hamilton's book Munster Village and helped her write La Famille du Duc de Popoli or the Duc de Popoli which was published in 1810. In December 1812 Nodier moved to Ljubljana, then the capital of the newly established French Illyrian provinces, and was in 1813 the last editor of a multilingual newspaper the official telegraph of the Illyrian provinces, Telegraphie Officielle des Provinces Illyriennes, published in French, German and Italian. It was there that Nodier composed, in 1812, the first draft of his novel Jean Spogar. The story about a love between a brigand and the daughter of a rich merchant was finally published in 1818. After the evacuation of French forces from the Illyrian provinces in 1813 he returned to Paris, and the restoration found him a royalist, though he retained something of republican sentiment. In 1824 he was appointed librarian of the Bibliothèque de l'Arsenal, a position that he kept for the rest of his life. He was elected a member of the Académie Française in 1833 also of the Société Entomologique de France when this was formed in 1832, and he was made a member of the Legion of Honor. He died, aged, 63, in Paris. The twenty years at the Arsenal were the most important and fruitful of Nodier's career. He had the advantage of a settled home in which to collect and study rare and unusual books, and he was able to establish a celebrated literary salon known as Le Cynical, rallying a knot of young literary men to Romanticism, the so-called Romanticists of 1830, some of whom would achieve great renown themselves. Victor Hugo, 
Alfred de Musset and Saint Ebuf all acknowledged their obligations to him, and Alexander Dumas incorporated his recollections of Nodier into his novelette La Dame au Collier de Valours. The group included Alphonse de Lamartine and Gerard de Nerval. Nodier was a passionate admirer of Gita, Lawrence Stern and Shakespeare, and himself contributed to the literature that was one of the leading traits of the Romantic school. Mm -hmm.